Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old Mods Volcano Block. We are back. In the last episode, as you can see, we made quite a bit of progress to our base in terms of, uh, I guess, expanding with a platform. We've got a nice little part down there. I think it was last episode we did this. Maybe not. Uh, I know we did some exploring um, last episode, but I think we also set up this grass little uh, platform to hopefully get some mobs. Um, obviously, we have not yet, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we have to make it bigger. Most likely, we do. Um, but regardless, it exists and it's there. Um, and then obviously we've got a five by five over here for, uh, sieving our stuff. Now, um, I actually want to work on this thing and, and make it a little bit better because I, I was looking like, obviously we want to automate it at some point. We need blocks of iron. We've got some hoppers, so that's fine, but we need a lot of iron to do this. And then we need to also make power if we want to automate the whole sieving process. On top of that, I'll have to like automate getting the actual dust and stuff. I think it's just so much easier to do it manually at the moment that it's probably better to invest our time in making the manual sifter just a better process altogether. And, and I'm, I've thought of a few ways to do that. Um, and so we'll try to do that. Essentially, I want to have water a bit because we're, we're a little bit poor at the moment, uh, but have water take um, the hoppers or, or take the items into a hopper that we have like in the corner or something. And that should work. Also, also... Did we end up setting up infinite water or no? Or did, or did we have water um, being created? We did. Neither of which has <laughs> enough, but I guess that's fine. We'll pretend it's fine. Put some there, put some there. Okay. All right, so, so that, that water's cooking. That's fine, we'll get back to that. Um, and it, uh, oh, I almost coughed. I, I had to stop myself. <laughs> um, how do I do this? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I do have an idea. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so step one is get us some building materials. Um, we'll start off with just wood. I'm wondering if we'll try to... Oh, yeah, we've got to... Did we end up making a chisel or did we decide to use our iron on something else? I'm not too sure, but it, it is definitely a tempting um, upgrade. On top of this, should I just get a magnet? Is a magnet better than trying to automate stuff? Because then that'll help when I'm like looting these uh, little outposts and stuff. We can obviously pick up the things that are dropped. Maybe. What magnets do we have? We've got a Fluxo magnet, which would need power. We've got a Pickle Tweaks magnet, which would need an Ender Pearl, which we don't really have access to. I don't think, unless we found one that I don't that I don't remember. Um, and then we have like Batania, but that I mean that's like a whole other mission. Um, okay, and I mean like there's obviously other stuff, but they look a little bit scary too. All right, uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't think we made a chisel. I think we just sort of like looked at it and thought, oh, that'd be cool. It would cost us an iron. I thought we had an iron. Oh, oh we've got 10 iron. Okay. I Look, <laughs> I feel like there was a reason we kept all this iron. Um, regardless, what do we have in here? Anything that can really help us? Um, What are these? Copper tiles. Okay. Should, I, I'll tell you what. I think I might just invest at least one of the iron. Because, I, I mean, it's worth it, right? We're going to get access to... Um, better building blocks, and then that just makes everything else better, right? So we get a bunch of planks, we chuck them in here, and then we can make our stuff look nice. Um, so, well, what's a good look here? <laughs> I think I'll go wavy, um, and I guess that'll just work. Oak plank mosaic, they call it. Uh, and so my idea here is to build up onto this level, as in like, oh, you know what? I did forget about lava existing. Um... Hold on. Oh, oh, actually, actually, you know what? The perfect time to uh, mention something. I had a helpful comment um, from It's SK, and that is to make a crafting table on a stick like this. And not only can we just use this to obviously have a crafting table, but it can go in a bauble slot. Um, what is it going to? Oh it, oh, it has its own one. Yeah, here it is. So I can place it there, and then in the controls, keybinds, we can search um, crafting, click category. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and we'll scroll down to, where is it? Oh, it's not even here. Okay, let's search stick. Crafting table on a stick. Ah, oh, it's from uh, in the inventory category, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna bind this to alt, I guess. And then I can press alt. Oh, if it wasn't bound to something else. Sometimes it lets you get away with it. If I just search alt, what do we have? Left alt is toolboxes, focusing, and the alt key is the alt key. That's cool. <laughs> All right. So now when I press left alt, 
we just open the crafting table. So for example, I would like to expand the island a little bit with some builders ones. And so there we go. Um, and I should just be able to do this. Yeah, cool. Um, now, here's the other thing. I don't know for sure what caused um, the wood that we had in our base to turn into ash. It's possible that just planks in general do that uh, in this pack. Okay. <laughs> I Look, did not expect that. Um, but yeah, it's possible that happens, in which case... All right. Um, so, hey, hey, don't, hey, hey, don't look, don't look at me like that. You know, I didn't, that was not my fault. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I lost all my train of thought. Um, oh yeah. I'm not sure if this wood will turn into ash and I guess we'll find out. So, <laughs> sorry guys. Look, I, you saw it wasn't my fault. Um, all right. That's fine. Can I make this into stairs? No. I think if I wanted stairs, I would have to do framed stairs. Um, and the only reason I really want stairs is to sort of make this look a little bit nicer than, I guess, what it currently is. Um, is that a worthwhile investment? I mean, honestly, it might be. Framed cubes, what are those? Planks and sticks. So, for example, grab this, make a couple sticks, and then just make a couple cubes. Boom. Boom turn these into stairs. So these frame stairs and just frame blocks in general are so cool. You place them down like so. Oh, and they look as they do <laughs> like a frame, but then you can put any block you want in them. So these blocks we couldn't turn into stairs, but now we can. Uh, the question is whether they look nice um, being like that, but I'm just going to pretend that they do. Even if they don't, it's, it's too late. We're, we're in too deep at this point. Um, so yeah, I'll finish this off a bit. I will, you know, I'll make um, a little bit more and I'll be back. All right, so I've, I've got to this point. Once again, I don't know if this looks good or not, but I, I just chuck like this wall around it to pretend that it does. And what I'm going to do, I think, is have three hoppers here. Once again, you probably don't need to use all three, but we'll use all three until we need three for something else um, and have them go into some sort of storage, I guess. Once again, very close to our staircase, probably a horrible decision, but... We're going to stick with it. Um, and what I can do, I realized, is if you uh, walk right up to a chest, you can't do it from a distance. But if you walk right up to it and click right-click while crouching, you can uh, you can bring the chest with you. And so I can place it... Um, um, I might actually place it where this is. I think that might look nice. You guys are pushing it. I'll tell you that much. All right, we're going to go hopper. We're going to go hopper. And we're going to go hopper. Cool. Then I'm going to get a bucket of water and we'll see. I, I don't know the you know, distances off by heart. I'm not sure what range um, that will last, but we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll see how that goes. I know there was a clay bucket there, but we'll just grab our real bucket that we looted because why not? And also the question of the day is, do you, do you guys think we can do infinite water? I know there's water in there, but I don't know if you can actually place water. I don't know what happens. Um, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. Can I place water? I can. Now I also read in the comments that you can't pour it on water or, or somehow it's disabled. So I'm going to give it a shot. Wow. That's it's, it's cursed. I can toggle off shaders. Would you look at that? Well, there you have it. Oh, what's that place? Oh, this is the same sort of thing. Um, cool. Okay. Well, we'll go back into our moody lighting. I'm going to make infinite water then, because why not? Then we should, in theory, not have to do this anymore. Um, assuming, of course, that you actually can make infinite water. Um, but I guess we're about to find out. Boom. Cool. Infinite. So, what is the distance that we have if I place the water? Oh, I forgot that you can do, like, um, waterlogged blocks. But if I place it... No, can I place it? Okay, <laughs> I think I have to place this here, place that there. Oh, and then and then break this. Okay, not that. <laughs> what was that? Okay, um, it's fine. 
I just have to put a little bit more effort than I wanted to. Let's break this, place this, place that. Almost, almost perfect, which is actually a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, we'll break this, that'll be fine. Place that, and that's good. So I was tempted to just place one hopper here earlier, but I thought I could get away with it. But clearly I can't, unless I think I place water in the corners. I think that'll, I, th I think that'll work. I don't think that'll go too far. It, it, honestly, it might. But once again, I guess we're about to find out. Oh, I've got to... <laughs> you can't... I should have just placed it inside. Look, we don't do too much thinking over here. All right, so yeah, that's... That's not what we want to happen. Unless I just build something around there, which I think I can do. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make a different type of frame block. Um, we can search framed. And what I want to grab is like a little... Um, a very tiny block, <laughs> which makes it kind of hard to know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, essentially, I want this guy, the frame slab edge. I was just wondering if there was like a smaller um, variant of it, but it doesn't really look like it is. There's like a frame post, but I'd, I'd love to like lay that block on its side. I'm not sure if you can. The problem is there's so many here that it, it genuinely may exist and I'm just not looking at it. You know what I mean? Um, but either way, we'll, we'll grab this. This should, get, should do the trick. Um, so to pull that off, we actually just need some slabs. And then it looked like that's all we need to do. Yeah, slab edges. And so, by the way, if you turn off your shaders, you can actually see a preview of where the stuff's going to go. There's a way to make it work uh, with shaders. I just don't know how they pull it off. Um, but what I want to do is have this on that side and that side. Oh. Okay. Hold on. This block exists. I've seen it before. Or at least I was told it exists. The problem is... I can't see it currently. <laughs> oh god. What is it? This is the only one I can see. A half stair. But I need that on its side. Oh, I found it. I found it. Found it. Frame vertical half stairs. That's what I want. <laughs> um, that's assuming I do want to do this. But I guess we can. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, so this thing's probably going to require some more framed cubes. So I'll make some of those. Um, and what do these need? This is going to be a stair and a framed hammer. So we'll make a framed hammer. Um, it looks as though we'll need some more framed cubes for da, 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 the stairs. Actually, we've got some stairs. I might be able to just do that. Wait, uh, I need to make them vertical stairs, which is, I guess, done by that. And then we can turn that into a half stair. So we've made a bit of a mess, but the bright side is that doesn't look good. <laughs> All right, cool. I turned the shaders off to make it a little bit easier to see, but... There we go. How cool is that? <laughs> so it's got a little trim around it. Obviously now I can't get in there, which is a problem in of itself, but I'm sure that uh, we can pretend that this looks nice. Okay, so here is our new area, which means I should be able to place water in these areas. So for example, if I place that there and do that, this should now work and go right towards the end. Awesome. And although we don't need to do the other corner just for the sake of uh, making things look symmetrical, let's go ahead and do that. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. All right. I, I believe this machine's ready to go. I, I say machine. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, I may actually want to make another chest just to store um, more of this junk, to be honest. Um, how's that looking? All right. So now if I have a bunch of gravel, I should be able to stand arguably anywhere. Obviously, I kind of don't want to be picking up any of the stuff, which I feel like I will regardless because it does throw it up quite a bit. But, in the perfect world, hmm, in the perfect world, that would flow a little bit faster than it is. Is it even moving? Hmm. I mean, I could line up the walls. Maybe that would create a little bit more movement. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, let's, uh, yeah, let, let's see what we can do here. I think if I place water here, this creates infinite water along the wall, right? Yep, and then... All right, I think I just created uh, a pool. <laughs> oh God, okay. Yeah. All right, currently I've just got that wall and then that corner. And so far, <laughs> so far, I think we're pretending that it works. Um, now, if I want to make this perfect, I need access to one of those, um, one of these guys without actually 
I guess, touching it. So, for example, what I think I need to do is have, like, an option here to look in, like this. And so, once again, realistically, we would have, um, maybe, like, some slabs, yeah? And then if I break this, and that, maybe, I could go slab, slab. And so I can stand here, <laughs> and I should be able to right-click my stuff in there, and that should all process. Just to, you know, save my, my already horrific inventory. So, where are we going with this? Well, if you press K in your inventory, this is another helpful tip I got. Where was this? Yes, uh, James Rodriguez said, if I press K, oh yeah, K toggles my shaders. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's a different keybind. If we do K and click key, um, compress stack, this guy. So if I change this to numpad six, for example, open my inventory, press numpad six, nothing happens. What if I open a crafting table? Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, I guess you have to hover over the actual block. Okay, so I open this, press 6, and that starts compressing it. And I'm guessing because I don't have inventory, it's just throwing it on the ground. So then... Yeah, okay, that yeah, makes sense. And then we get a bunch of compressed blocks. Cool! Yeah, alright, that, that adds up. Um, <laughs> I approve this message. Um, cool, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna place all these. I'm gonna get a bunch of gravel, and then we'll process it and see see if it works well. I mean, honestly, it's inevitable. I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen, okay? Close your eyes a few minutes ago, okay? Right. Da -da 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 -da. Process this. These hammers last a long time. Like, I was trying to just burn up this uh, stone one, but it's got a lot of durability. All right, so we're, we've got gravel now. I can obviously uh, uncompress this into pretty much a full inventory. And then, in the perfect world, this guy here, has got a little bit of cobble, but the rest of it's good to go. I should be able to go into my little, little spot here. And just hold right click. <laughs> and, look, so far, I've got nothing on me. Oh, the walls, okay. I I'll tell you what, I, I want to make this little machine that we've got here, I want to make it perfect. I also picked up some stuff, which is obviously a problem. Alright, once again, luckily... Frame blocks has something for us. I know, I know, it's incredible. Um, so what I should probably do is, uh, I mean, I, mm, yeah, uh, mm, okay, hold on. Uh, I'm struggling. Let's go ahead and make um, a chest to put the gravel in. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chuck this guy here. Just put all that gravel in. Beautiful. All right. So now, <laughs> now we're gonna try to make the frame block. Um, so what I want to, we probably could just line the edge with these slab edges. I just don't know if it will be tall enough. And so I want to do something a little bit more. What we can push for, um, oh, we already had it up, is a vertical panel, a frame panel, this guy here. So, this guy, um, let's toggle over our shaders. Okay, I guess I have to place them this way around. Uh, but as you can see, it will go up like that. And that, I mean, that should block it, right? That, that should block the drops from falling out. And so, yeah. And there are, I believe there are like things we can place there as well, if we, if we want to, I guess. Uh, so the question is, do I want it to be mosaic or do we want to have it like topped off with a different type of block? I'm thinking that's not a bad idea. So we, we may do something else. I'm just not too sure what. All right, I've made a tree machine, <laughs> not a machine, but you know, just a globule of, 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 of my trees of, what am I saying? Help. <laughs> um, of trees yeah they're just cold trees all right stone axe cool it's nice that you can repair them it, it just yeah yeah it's nice i yeah the fact that you can do it in your inventory is pretty good um definitely a time saver all right cool all right let's make some framed doohickeys and boom a bunch of panels probably too many but that's fine um in terms of what we can place around how do these look I, I don't mind this. I don't mind having it. It's a little bit <laughs> vanilla, I guess. Like, it looks very, like, dumb. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Um, but I, we'll pretend it's nice. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. So I'm just gonna do this. That should be good. I mean, the blocks don't fly up that high, right? That should be fine. And then over here, it should be fine. I don't think we have to lock anything in. Um, cool. All right. Nice. Try this again. Oh, I instantly pick up some stuff. 
Okay. What? How am I picking this stuff up? Where's it coming from? I think I'm getting it through the wall still. Um, okay. Alright. The perfect spot. I've done it. <laughs> I just I just placed another little block back. Um, Alright, so yeah, I'm going to process all of this gravel just so that you see, like, I guess, what we've got going on here. Um, and I'll be back. Currently, we've got this much. Obviously, it's going to take time for the hoppers to move all the stuff. Um, everything appears to be working well. I'll do a quick little run around. Looks nice. I don't see any, you know, blocks dropped on the ground or stuck in the uh, fence holes or anything. Um, cool. I will say, looking to my right, we may have an issue. It's possible that they are there because the hopper's full. Yeah, I'm going to say that's why they're there and I'm just going to continue. I'm going to hope that they get picked up at some point because... Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we'll have to just move those back one or something and have the water flow on it. Which, I, I mean, honestly, the fact that I don't even have to go into the machine, like I'm just doing it from here anyway, means that that's not really a problem. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge <laughs> in a few minutes. Alrighty, our last bit of gravel there. We'll process all that. And that should be good. I assume we've gotten all the gravel. Yep. And so I've got a bunch of junk there. And I have been seeing it disappear, so I think it has been picked up. It's just a matter of waiting for this guy to move all the stuff. Stacks of flint. This guy's going to be full in pretty much seconds. Uh, so, we need to decide what we want to do in terms of uh, storage, essentially. We've got a few options. Um, if I search chest, we can look at the different chests we have. There they are. <laughs> um, we do have iron chests. They're not bad. Um, do we have, like, sophisticated backpacks? We've got useful backpacks. Okay, nice. I, I'll tell you what, sophisticated just like solves all problems, but it's kind of like, it's nice to play a pack that just doesn't have it. Um, but with that being said, we're probably just going to be using drawers instead, right? Um, so, um, we'll probably go for the one by one drawers. This is going to cost us quite a bit of um, wood. Luckily, we do have quite a bit of wood, so a win-win there. We'll borrow these chests. Um, can I go ahead and make a bunch of chests? Yeah, that'll be nice. Um, th uh... What are we going to lose? Flint? A little bit of something else? Like if it despawns? I, I'm not... Ah. I'll pick this stuff up. Let's see what we got. We got some nickel, some lead, and some tin. Okay, cool. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, yeah. I was going to look in here. How, how much stuff do I need at the moment? If I sort this, we need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen different... Storages, I think I, I may I may have missed one, but that's fine. So I either make 15 drawers that are one by one or we get some two by twos 15 drawers that are one by one some drawers that are two by two or we get a compacting drawer That's gonna cost iron. So that's not really gonna happen. Um Yeah, we'll just go for 15. I think I mean hey hey the chest line up perfectly for that So why not boom 15 drawers? I'm gonna collect next what I need is actually a drawer controller um, which just isn't here, or if it is here, I don't recognize it. Let's search, um, controller, um, storage controller from functional storage, which I believe is what these drawers are from. Yeah. Um, so this guy, he'll need stone. So I'll have to smelt some up. Um, he'll need quartz, which I don't think we even have yet. Like just normal quartz. Um, I'll wait for it to pop up here. If it does. Yep. Quartz. Um, a redstone comparative. We obviously don't have our redstone just yet. Um, and then two drawers of its own. Or, <laughs> or we need some sort of pipe, arguably just an item pipe that will also need redstone. Unless we do a mechanical pipe, but that does mill buckets. What are these pipes? What do we have? Is there a way to, what can we do here? It's a mining pipe, fluid pipe. What are these? Pressure pipes. Detector. I mean, because there's fluid pipes. And then there's just pipe pipes. Oh, fluid pipe. Yeah. I was like, maybe these ones don't use fluid pipe. But, but that, yeah. Okay. Um, What about tube? Oh, okay. Hold on. IC2 has a tin tube. I'm going to, I think I might try this. IC2 classic tin tube. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So what I want to do is I'm going to have the chest pipe out into a bunch of drawers. Okay, so we need tin and we need it processed. I can either make 16 or how much platinum do we have? 
We only have a stack. Oh, unless there's more in here. Yeah. Um, where was it? Who, who was telling me about the, um, the ore hammers? I uh, think Dunson mentioned that you can make a platinum ore hammer. Um, and that will allow us to do ore doubling. So, if I invest in that, you can also use copper. Um, I guess it's just a matter of what you have. I could do copper and double our platinum. I'll tell you what, we'll just do platinum. I think that's just going to be the easiest since we know we've got some. So I'll grab that out. Is there any more platinum laying around? Nope. Uh, I think this is enough. So we're going to turn all of these into raw platinum. We're then going to wait half an hour for the stuff to smell. Um, and then we'll, then we'll give it a shot. All right. No, it should be fine though. Um, so, so what else was I going to do? Uh, I was just going to make like what? Two pieces of tin to try it out. If we do IC2, oh, sorry, at IC2. I'm just wondering if there's like a, there's also an insane amount of stuff in here. I'm just now realizing. I do like that. Um, I'm wondering if there's like a servo that you need as well. Yeah, they added the Among Us. Cool. Um, so here's like the tubes and there's like pumps. I think we're good. The only thing I can think of would be, yeah. Oh, there's a pickup tube. I can have the tube just act as a hopper, I think. Teleport tubes. So this is essentially uh, bringing a little bit of that build craft magic in, right? Request tubes for, oh, oh, um, oh, what was it called? Like logistical pipes or something. I think it was a mod. That added these like providers and requesters, I think. Request limiter, pickup tube, stacking tube. Okay. Extraction tube. I think that's what we need. I think we oh. Ugh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I, I I'm not gonna do villages. I, I refuse. Um extraction tube. Hmm. I'm okay. I do wonder if we can just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried though. Insertion tube, these all need circuits. I feel like our tube idea isn't gonna work and that we're gonna just need to do pipes, which means we need redstone and maybe we should just get started on that. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's gonna be dust in an iron mesh. So once this is smelted up, we're gonna make um, up as much iron as we can um, and then make as many meshes as we can, I think. That's probably, that's probably the play. I, I am also curious. <laughs> What's the curiosity happening here? A flint mesh gives us, when we uh, sift our gravel, um, iron at a 10% chance to get one. An iron mesh, when sifting gravel, gives us a 10% chance and a 15% chance. And then also diamonds. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right, now to make this, I think we just need 18 because I believe it's going to be two blocks. If we search all hammer, we can have a look. Platinum all hammer, two platinum blocks. Easy peasy. So one more of these and then we should be good to go. I guess in the meantime, I can start uh, crafting stuff. If we were to try to push these into like an insertion tube, for example, we just need an electronic circuit, right? That's going to be, it's going to need some redstone. It's going to need smelted iron. And then cables, right? I just want to double check here. Smelted iron. And the cables need copper. Easy. And rubber. Rubber needs sticky resin. Unless it doesn't. You could do an extractor, but that needs rubber wood. To get resin, you also get it from a rubber wood sapling. That would be plant bowls, spruce sapling. Okay. Or just a market <laughs> with an emerald. That's probably what we'll do. Or, actually, apparently just sieving... I'm guessing any type of leaf um, gives you a 20% chance. So I'll tell you what, um, that's very doable. I, I, I mean, I need redstone regardless, like for either option, but it sounds fun. <laughs> I like the idea. Or, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, that should be fun. That should be fun. We just need, just need a bit of redstone. All right, so I'm going to make two blocks. Da -da -da. Awesome. Gonna make some sticks that we probably don't need, but I made them anyway. And a platinum ore hammer. Beautiful. So, we can jump down here. Um, I'm gonna grab out all of our iron, um, which is apparently <laughs> just that. Really? We don't have any more iron? We've got a little bit lying around. Any more in these? Nope. Um, I'll obviously turn those into raw iron, like so. 
And then what we want to do is place that in the crafting grid with our ore hammer and we can double it. So now I've got 44 iron, which is pretty good. Um, while we're at it, let's jump down here and grab out our coal. Um, da -da -da, turn that into some coal pieces and top that guy up. Cool. Okay, so um, iron meshes, shall we? Shall we begin? Um, <laughs> but I guess this is going to be a bit of a mesh episode. Um, boom, boom, boom. Iron mesh. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so that'll start getting us some good stuff. Obviously, we're gonna need some dust. Um, I mean, we need a lot of stuff. I probably could just double chest that at the moment, unless I do set up the drawers preemptively. Um, I mean, I, I we, we can do that. How do I, where am I gonna put the drawers? Am I just gonna do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. I'm just trying to think like, is this fine? And then what, five? So I could probably just do, oh, that, that. And then this looks nice, yeah. And then we're gonna have like coal and the rest of this stuff. It's actually not too bad uh, putting the stuff away. Essentially just make sure you double click on everything and the stuff goes away. If you do get a storage controller, it essentially allows you to link all of them together. So if you interact with one of them, you can interact with all of them. So you can like deposit everything into that controller um, and pull stuff out if you want. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, but obviously costs a little bit to set up. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's, that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, what, what I mean, what, what else are we doing at the moment? What, what do we want to do? Should I try to preemptively head towards the, um, the leaves as in set up some shears, get a bunch of, uh, saplings. We don't have one already, right? Birch, bunch of saplings here. I mean, we've got quests as well that I've completely forgotten about. XP, useful blocks, and a common reward of lapis. Okay. Um, diamond mesh or redstone towards netherrack, endstone, growing grass. I mean, we grow, we grew grass. This thing wants us to have dirt seeds. Uh, oh, sorry, grass seeds. Um, does it just want it on us? Yeah, okay, there we go. So we'll get, to oh, delightful dirt. Oh, it's, I think it's been updated. That definitely didn't exist before, I don't think. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, oh yeah, th this is awesome. We're actually going to get some uh, some crops now. So, oh, not some crops, but some mobs. Spawns more creature mobs. Will snow cap at night if exposed to the sky? Light level below 10 stops creature mob spawns. Does not work in ocean biomes. So, this thing is going to spawn a ridiculous amount of mobs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down this tree. I'm going to plant a new tree. And we're gonna place it underneath the tree. The reason for that is uh, because it mentioned the um, the snow capping that it has. So it'll have like a little bit of snow on top of it at nighttime. Um, but we can just place it here. Now, yeah, uh, I've actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do is put a bit of dirt up around the tree and have it be one of them. Reason being is if I need to pick this up again with like silk touch or something, like I don't want it to drop into the world or, or anything like that. So I'm just gonna place that there. We can then just sort of make this its own little thing. And so that should increase mob spawns. Obviously they have to be able to spawn on that block, um, but I don't know, it, it should happen. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess if I wanted to, I could Place a torch there, so it has enough light. Oh, scary sound, but that's fine. All right, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on the minimap, maybe, or we'll just come back and look at it later. See how it goes. Uh, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, how's our iron coming along? Uh, quite well, to be honest. Um, so, boom. Uh, boom, boom. That should be good. Now, I know this is costing a lot of iron, but I do think it's worth it. We could just do... Only like only six, for example, which is a, a lot and will get us a lot. But I mean, there's no harm in doing more aside from just it costs more resources. Um, so I'm going to, we'll, we'll do it. Why not? Um, but yeah, I'll probably do one more here and then I might actually start sifting because I mean, we're not going to have enough to finish the whole thing. Um, and I do want to start getting some redstone so I can hopefully at least finish automating this thing this episode. You know what I mean? Cause I, I feel like that'd be a pretty good end. Um, so... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll at least be, oh, 
Oh, we've got our first mob. And it's going into the lava. <laughs> cool. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, you love to see it. Oh, chicken. Chicken and... Is it just chicken? I swear I hear something walking on the grass. You guys hear that? Unless I'm crazy or unless it walked all the way around here. Nope. All right, probably just a little bit crazy, but cool. Oh, look at this little guy. There he is. There he goes. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Nature is healing. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, I've got all this stuff. I'll go place this down and yeah, do do my thing. All right. Stone hammer's broken. Iron hammer time. All right. So actually, this stuff. Although we do want more iron, we actually don't at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, place all this stuff down and obviously process that into um, more of the stuff. Cool. <laughs> into our dust, I believe is what we're after. All right. One stack of dust. And it all just converts into dust. It doesn't need to be compressed or anything. Oh, two chickens. Two chickens, a bunch of little dudes from... Uh... I can't even think. Probably Britannia. <laughs> Actually, I think it's uh, Airs Nouveau is what they're from. Um, but cool. And so, once again, this guy's currently just got this junk in it, which I can... Oh, I didn't actually want to do that. I wanted them to just go there. Um, which we can take out, put away, and have a fresh start to this. So, let's see what we get. Now, uh, you know what? It's been a little while. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Make how many more meshes? Uh, one more mesh. <laughs> and then, And then, yeah. I'll process all of this dust um, and I'll come back. Now I will say, I do believe, yeah, it fills up. Oh, we're not, oh, we're not even using the whole thing. I bet you some of you guys were like screaming that at me. <sighs> Cause it, yeah, it has like a distance to it. I need to be right clicking that middle block. Um, if I swim, can I bounce up to the top part? No. Um, I mean, it's, it's still pretty fast. And honestly, I could just fill the left side with iron. <laughs> that might actually not be a bad idea. But, um, yeah, I was going to say, like, it, even though I'm right-clicking an iron mesh one, it still converts to the others. Uh, okay. So, this is going to look ugly, but if I, if I jump up here and right-click on that, I don't think I pick up the stuff. Cool. Sweet. And this should be way faster than whatever I was doing before. All right, sweet. Um, some of the stuff doesn't go all the way through for whatever reason. The chicken just, um, I don't know if you guys heard that as well, but the chicken's no longer with us. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's elsewhere. Um, you know, what? I can just pick this stuff up. Um, so yeah, the issue we have currently is now I need more drawers to obviously store all the stuff that we get from dust. But on the bright side, plenty of redstone, some blaze powder, plenty of bone meal, like genuinely a lot, some glowstone and whatnot. That's pretty good. Um, so what do I want to push for? I'll tell you what. We'll quickly, we'll check out whatever quest I've done. Um, food and farming. Oh, we got a lead. Cool. There we go. Get a long little doggy. The classic lead. Use this to get animals into your farm area. This isn't the same thing found in paint. It is not lead. It is indeed a lead. Cool. Oh, yeah. I could probably, like, keep these chickens safe. I mean, we're going to get infinite mobs as seen here. So I'm not too fussed. I probably should have put them in an enclosure so we don't have this happening. <laughs> great, great, great timing, buddy. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's fine. Okay, so currently what, what do I want to do? What's How do we solve this? Um, does this need solving? <sighs> okay. Um, possibly need drawers. I could now pipe stuff out because we can afford to make pipes. I believe. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I will actually need a little bit more iron, but, you know, um, but it should be doable. Okay, let, uh, let me get some more iron and then we'll cross that bridge. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ladder. Oh, more scary sounds. I'm going to place it, um, oh, I can't really place it anywhere because these aren't real blocks. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> the ladder idea has fallen. That is fine. We're going to rip apart this, rip apart this, and I'm going to make both of those um, blocks of wood. So it's going to be that 
and this. And then that can have wood on it. Cool. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. All right, but yeah, this is uh, infinitely faster than what I was doing before. <laughs> and once again, it, it not going into my inventory is genuinely just so much nicer. It also makes it a, a little nice sound. It's quite quiet, but it is. It's nice. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, th I think this is good. Now, in terms of uh, automating this, you guys mentioned things like, um, what do we call it? A modular router. Which we may try. I'll, I'll, I'll have to give it a shot if it exists. Modular. We do have modular routers. Need some iron. Need all this stuff. I'd probably, I'd probably have to do it, like, obviously in a different episode. Because this one's pretty much at wrapping up point. I do want to finish this off with some sort of piping. Um, we'll probably just do normal item pipes. I might look into um, trying to set up a rubber tree at some point. But uh, it'll be good. Yeah. So, so we'll set up the pipes. We'll see whatever item we have left. See if we can turn that into some more meshes. I don't really know if there's a way to solve that. If I place water over there, it just makes infinite water. And then, um, I mean, we don't want that. But at the same time, we don't want that either. So, phew, I don't know what the plan is. Oh, this is also, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. All right, in terms of iron pieces, we have this mu this many. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. I keep forgetting the keybinds. Boom, boom. Turn those into iron pieces with the letter K. Turn that into iron dust and... Try to make as many as it lets me. <laughs> oh, that one. Boom. Okay. Um, to follow that up, why were we doing that? Oh, oh, we, uh, oh, we need one iron to make the pipe. We also need redstone to finish the rest of the stuff. So we'll grab the redstone out and we'll continue on our way. So, duh, 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 duh. item pipe needs two droppers. That's going to be a little bit of redstone and um, the other stuff. <laughs> and then item pipes. Cool. Now this guy also needs a wrench. Um, you can use any wrench. I usually like using create wrenches because they're good for everything or, or for most things. Um, but sadly, we're going to need something else. We could use bronze, so it's quartz crystals, quartz itself. We could use a pipe wrench, which is flint and wood. Tell you what, that's probably what we're going to use. <laughs> um, one, two, and then we've got, uh, we actually don't have that much wood on us, but that's fine. Or stick, sorry. But boom, boom, pipe wrench. Awesome. So we've got our stuff. Is it enough? It honestly may not be, but that's fine. We'll do a janky pipe all the way over here. Alrighty. So yeah, it's not long enough. We're definitely gonna need to make some more, but the iron should be smelted. But essentially we're gonna connect these pipes to everything. And then we're just gonna set this guy up to extract. And what we should see is the stuff that can be taken out and put into a drawer will be. So it looks like gold's being removed and it's being removed at eight items every two seconds. And so that's what should be reflected over here. Um, yeah, cool. So obviously we just need to make more, hook up every single drawer, and then even hook up more drawers for, um, the dust. There we go, more pipes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's come back over here. Boom, 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 boom. Now, one of these, yeah, the top right didn't have any, so I'll leave that for now. Uh, I can put redstone in it, why not? Uh, but yeah, we definitely need more drawers. Once again, how many do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for redstone. So we just need six more drawers, um, which should be doable. Let me actually go ahead and do that. All right, cool. Six more drawers. Um, and so since we only need six, what I'll do is I'll come over here, expand this out as much as it lets me. That's pretty good. Um, and we'll just do them here. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and we've got plenty of pipes. Now, before we do that, I will manually move the stuff over just so that uh, we don't have any double ups of stuff. Um, so one of these will be glowstone, one bone meal, one sky stone, um, then what, gunpowder. Do we even need that many? What else do we have? Certus quartz, did we already do blaze? Oh, we didn't, okay, blaze and certus quartz, cool. And so this is now, no, obviously not fully automated because I still need to do the right clicking, but it's very fast, the actual sifting aspect. Um, but dust and gravel will be removed from here. Oh, we have our first emerald, so we're actually going to need some more storage. In fact, we need fluoride as well uh, and appetite. So, yeah, we're going to have to make a bunch more drawers. Uh, once again, there are the 2x2 two two drawers. They'll obviously store four different types of stuff. Um, but I don't know. I've decided to go for the big ones. Um, yeah. What do we think? 
<laughs> Are we happy? I still, I, I'll be honest. I don't know about you guys. Definitely let me know what you think. But in terms of the lighting in this, right? Obviously we've got the like red sun because we're in a volcano. Everything's yellow. Everything's like moody. You know what I mean? It's almost like having like a blue light filter on. This is brighter and arguably nicer. But on top of that, I may be able to... I don't know if I can do it with these ones, to be fair. Oh, actually, I might be able to. It might be a way to sort of pull it off. Um, like, if I switch to cold, does that change anything? Um, but I, I recall Silda's shaders having a lot more actual lighting uh, changes you can make. And by that, I mean you could actually make, like, it be white light. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know if we'll try it, but I am curious as to what you think because I... This might be, it might be too, I don't know, too weird. Like, I, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's hurting my eyes, but maybe it is. Like, I'm not sure, but it feels like even just complimentary, you know what I mean? Like just having it not be as moody, but then even then the lava just looks a bit weird now. <laughs> I don't know. Th there's this one as well. Rethinking voxels. This one might not work. It might crash. This one's very laggy, as you can tell. What it's meant to do differently is it's meant to um, have shadows in all the really small spots, like through the gaps of fences and stuff. Um, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> all right, I will switch back though because I do need um, I need a nice thumbnail. Um, but th I think that's it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I don't really know how to get a good angle for this because you guys aren't going to really know what this, this is in the thumbnail. Maybe, honestly, that's not too bad. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, please do consider subscribing and liking the video. But if you have already, thank you for doing that. Um, and if you haven't, it's not the end of the world. Um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, thank you, of course, to our donators and channel members. Thank you to Melizzy, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. They are, they are tier three channel members. And oh, da, 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 da. and thank you guys for the comments. There, there, was, there was a lot of them. Um, I think I think I read them all at least currently up to up to this point. But um, yeah, the last two episodes obviously came out without me being able to read the episodes or read the uh, comments. But um, but thank you. And um, thank you to Meister T who rejoined as a tier two channel member. Thank you. Once again, you don't need to be a you don't need to be a channel member or anything. Don't feel pressured to become one. Um, the videos will happen regardless. So it's not like, you know, I'm not like, please, please. I'm once again asking for your financial support. <laughs> but um, but thank you to those of you who have. Um, so yeah. Oh, Quest complete, spawning passive mobs, spawning hostile mobs. Um, let me just look at that real quick. What have we done? Spawning hostile mobs. Oh, because we've got rotten flesh? Oh, because this one finally spawned. I observed the cow, and then it auto-filled this one. And so we get dreadful dirt, which we can make a spawner out of, and some other stuff. Cool. That's a job for another day. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.